now on Coast TV News. More lots, more houses, more room for living. One big neighborhood in Lewis looking to get even bigger. A better beach trek, a new path could pave the way from Milford to Slaughter Beach. As President-elect Trump continues to announce his cabinet, Delaware Senator Chris Coons has strong feelings about one nomination. And debating the rules for home-based businesses in Lewis. What's at stake? And most of us are in the 30s right now on the peninsula. Cold night ahead, cloudy Thursday ahead of rain that will arrive. I'll have the latest timing and totals in my full forecast next. This is Coast TV News at 11. A new expansion is planned for the Anchors Run development. How people who live in the neighborhood now are responding. Good evening, I'm Charlie Sakaitis. And I'm Christina D. Robertis. Welcome to Coast TV News at 11. We begin tonight at the Sussex County Planning and Zoning Meeting. The Anchors Run neighborhood in Lewis is looking to expand. The project plan to add even more space for housing is making pro progress. And while that was one of the items on the agenda at the Planning and Zoning Committee today, uh, there was more still to look at. And Coast TV News reporter Brendan Conroy is going to show us some people not too happy about the changes. More space for housing, more inconvenience for people who already live there. Overall, I'm not happy about it at all. That's how some homeowners in the Anchors Run development feel following an expansion plan that would add 356 single-family lots to the already existing subdivision. Parker Nolan lives at Anchors Run and he's upset by one of the changes, a plan to move pickleball courts practically into his own backyard. If, if a developer says they're going to do something, do what they say they're going to do. That's it, you know, uh, do what you say and say what you do. That change is rankling a few homeowners who don't want that click clack of a ball filling the calm evening air. Those owners are as much entitled to consideration because in fact it's us that are being impacted with the noise. Meanwhile, there is another side to this story. One viewer sent an email to Coast TV upset with the delay in the project, claiming it's just a few voices holding things up, and he wants to be able to enjoy the amenities they voted for sooner rather than later. But at the moment, no decision has been made, and it's unclear when it will be. Even though further discussion is deferred until a later date, the people that were at the meeting and those who live in this neighborhood told me they're not happy with how some of the decisions were made and that they weren't consulted too much beforehand. In Lewis, Brendan Conroy. Coast TV News. Danger on the road. Delaware State Police are looking for somebody that was part of a road rage incident. It happened in Georgetown on Tuesday morning. Here's what we know. Just before noon near Johnson Road and Gravel Hill Road, police say a driver had a near collision with a Chevrolet Silver Silverado. The second driver, described as a bald white man, then allegedly followed the victim and pointed a handgun at him. The suspect drove off on Zor Road and troopers could not find him. His truck is described as a white Chevrolet Silverado with a truck bed cover. Anybody with information should contact Delaware State Police. Let's head to Lewis where there is debate over home-based businesses, everything from the number of employees they can have to the hours they can operate. One woman who wants to run a dog grooming business in her Lewis basement sparked the Lewis Planning Commission to create a specific subcommittee. The subcommittee currently reassessing all of its regulations in the growing town. Some locals think it's a good idea to a certain extent. They want to keep their house. They, they don't want to be homeless. Yeah. So they figure out a way, something that they're good at, something that they really enjoy, um, and they can make a business out of it. And they ought to be given the opportunity to do that. Today, the subcommittee looked at what types of businesses would be allowed in Lewis homes, when they can operate, and how that would affect neighborhoods, which brings us right into our Coast TV poll tonight. We want to know, what is your biggest concern about the home businesses in neighborhoods? Let's take a look at the results. If you look at your screen, you can see we're uh, tied right now, 26% each, uh, one saying increase traffic. 26% uh, saying oh, they have no concern, 31% uh, saying too many visitors, 17% saying noise complaints. You know, that's one of the more evenly dispersed polls we've seen. If you want to go vote, be a part of this, might move it one way or the other, you can do that at coasttv.com or use the Coast TV mobile app. 
Let's take a live look outside now into Lewis and check in with First Alert meteorologist Chris Masturbeto for a look at the weather. Hey, Chris. Hey there, Christine. It's a cold night on the peninsula. Temperatures are in the 30s, getting that radiational cooling. Right now in Dover, it is 36 degrees. Nope, the dew point 29, bone dry air, allowing for those temperatures to fall, especially away from the coast. We have a persistent east wind that's keeping temperatures rather mild around 50 in Rehoboth, but we're 31 in Redden. We're at 34 in Seaford and 36 in Salisbury. So we have a coastal flood advisory in effect tomorrow through Friday. Could see some minor inundation along the coast due in part to a full moon and a high tide. We are tracking rain. We're going to kind of chip away at this drought. It's not going to be a drought busting rainfall, but the rain looks to move in here tomorrow evening. And we are looking at a wonderful weekend as temperatures will uh, be rising back into the lower 60s. There's our system in the plains right now, Ohio River Valley, as that moisture works to the east. Bus stop forecast tomorrow, 44, and then by the afternoon, we are looking at cloudy skies and 56. We'll talk more about the timing of the rain and how much we can expect to see coming up next. Thank you. Well, after his resounding victory, President-elect Trump is in Washington today, where he met with President Biden at the White House, the residence he will soon occupy for a second term. Now with both the Senate and the House under Republican control, President-elect Trump will have an easier path for his agenda. As NBC's Alice Barr reports, he's already making waves with some controversial picks to join his administration. John, President Biden today welcoming President-elect Trump to the White House, meeting for nearly two hours in a return to the traditions of a peaceful transfer of power. The president-elect offering his thanks. He did not host then-president-elect Biden during the last transition as he sought to reverse the 2020 results. Politics is tough. And it's, uh, in many cases, not a very nice world, but it is a nice world today, and I appreciate it very much. Before the sit-down, President-elect Trump celebrating with House Republicans. As NBC News now projects, the GOP secured control of the House, cementing a Republican sweep. It's always nice to win. Another win today on Capitol Hill for South Dakota Senator John Thune, whose Senate Republicans voted in as their new majority leader. He'll oversee approval of Trump administration nominees. The president-elect announcing Florida Senator Marco Rubio as his pick for Secretary of State. Matt Gates, his selection for attorney general. If confirmed, the Florida congressman would lead the Justice Department that investigated him for possible sex trafficking before ending the case last year with no charges filed. He's denied wrongdoing. The choice is sparking bipartisan backlash. I mean, this feels like a red alert moment for democracy. Mr. Gates breaks things to breaks things. President-elect Trump also naming Fox News host Pete Hegseth as his pick for Secretary of Defense. The Army National Guard veteran who served in Iraq and Afghanistan has argued against women in combat roles and said the military focuses too much on diversity. Any general that was involved, general admiral, whatever that was involved in any of the DEI woke it's got to go. Democrats voicing concern about that choice as well as President-elect Trump makes waves in his return to Washington. In Washington, Alice Barr, NBC News. And new at 11, Representative Gates has already submitted his resignation from the House. That happened tonight. However, he does still have to make it through the confirmation process. In Delaware, Senator Chris Coons preparing for a fight over that. He was on CNN today where he had this reaction. When I was uh, first informed that uh, President-elect Trump had nominated Congressman Matt Gates to be the next Attorney General, uh, I was speechless. Uh, I've had some time uh, to gather my thoughts. I think this is a deadly serious challenge uh, to the Senate's constitutional advice and consent role. Senator Coons says he will engage in the confirmation process and plans to take into account the ethics and character as well as the policy views of Congressman Gates. Plans to stop drivers from crashing into the Georgetown Circle. The Georgetown Council will add extra safety measures to the circle. These ideas include replacing the one-way sign with black and white arrows, adding 15 miles an hour advisory signs to all sides of the four-way circle, adding blinking lights to these roundabout uh, signs to increase awareness, and enhancing these bollards by adding cement and making them stronger.
Pedestrian safety is number one factor on almost everything we do, so we want to make sure we maintain that, the safety, and uh, keep the marine public happy. The town plans on adding all these changes within the coming weeks. No matter how wild you have found the last week and a half of news, I promise you, you didn't enter today ready for government hearings about UFOs. But here we are. Today, a House Oversight Committee held a joint subcommittee hearing about unidentified anomalous phenomena, or UAPs. Members focused their questions on the need for more transparency about what the government knows about UAPs and to understand whether tax dollars are being spent on UAP retrieval research or other programs, which led to this incredible exchange of testimony from a former DOD official. Has the government conducted secret UAP crash retrieval programs, yes or no? Yes. Okay, were they designed to identify and reverse engineer alien craft, yes or no? Yes. And in what feels like a scene right out of an X-Files episode, Elizondo would add that he believes the United States is in the midst of a multi-decade secretive arms race along with some of our adversaries to track down alien technology. Coming back down to earth now, on your screen now are the shelters that the Humane Animal Partners gave to people in Rehoboth Beach today. HAP says feral cat colonies continue to grow in Sussex County and as winter is approaching, the cold conditions can be deadly in some cases. Coast TV spoke with HAP about what went into these shelters. It is insulated and filled with straw um, and then the lids are zip tied down so that um, again it, it's not necessarily for for you to have to feed or clean. It's, it's really really important. Um, here in Sussex County it gets very windy in the winter time and cats can usually find a place to get out of the cold but it's the wind that really uh, bothers them the most. And for anyone who couldn't make it to Rehoboth today, you can find a Google sign-up form on coasttv.com. Making a walk to the beach easier and safer, it's part of the goal for the Milford Slaughter Beach Shared Use Path Feasibility Project. The study is going to look at how a shared use path could connect Milford to Slaughter Beach so that people could walk or ride over to the lovely surf and sand. It's part of the push to encourage what's called ecotourism, the study is being funded by a U.S. DOT Thriving Communities grant. We're just getting going this evening. Still to come, retirement boost. The IRS letting you save more next year. We'll tell you how much more coming up. And also blood shortage Delmarva running low on that life-sustaining liquid. How you can help make a difference. Well, we're going to be socking in the clouds in both Cambridge and Crisfield through your Thursday. Showers develop after about 5, 6 o'clock and work their way over the peninsula. We'll continue the latest timing and have the latest rainfall totals coming back in just 60 seconds. You don't know how much pressure you put on your septic system. But Ridex does. In a 21-month study, scientists proved that Ridex reduces up to 20% of waste buildup every month. Take the pressure off with Ridex. Here at the Delmarva Design Center, appliances, cabinetry, countertops, tile, and flooring come together in one showroom. We have specialists in each division, such as myself and countertops, to not only ensure you get the best product to fit your needs, but that your selection fits seamlessly with every element of your project. When I came into the Delmarva Design Center and see that big collection of slabs that makes really the decision seamless. Del Marva Design Center. Great design starts with great inspiration. Selbyville, Delaware. Ride the wave of Del Marva's vibrant coastal vibes with Coast Life. From hidden gems to sun-kissed trends and captivating local tales. Dive deep and immerse yourself in our coastal rhythm. Catch Coast Life weekdays at 4 on Coast TV. Ocean City is one of the milder spots at this hour, checking in at 51 degrees. We continue to see that east wind generally gusting anywhere between about 10 to 15 miles an hour. And that is allowing for those temperatures to remain rather mild at this hour. We hit a high of 51 today after a morning low of 34. Average high is 59 and the record 76. 
sent back in 1977. You can see away from the coast, we are falling, getting that radiational cooling. We are right around the freezing mark, uh, just below the freezing mark there in Redden. We're at 34 Seaford, 33 Delmar, and 36 in Salisbury. You can see those winds at the coast generally gusting 10 to 20 miles an hour, and that is keeping those temperatures a little milder at this hour. Coastal flood advisory up Kent and Sussex County. That is through noon on Friday. Could see up to one to two feet of inundation during high tide, coinciding with the full moon, as well as that persistent east wind. Small craft advisory is up through about 6 a.m. Friday, and that continues to the south here. Worcester and Acomico, um, Acomac counties up through a about one on Friday as well. So we're gonna be dealing with some wind there at the coast. High pressure virtually over the area. That is retreating to the northeast, and that is going to allow this system to spin across the south of the uh, south of the peninsula, but the air is very dry here, so it's going to take a bit of time before that rain works into the region. You can see that rainfall deficit so far this month, as we kind of chip away at this drought, we're not going to get it all back in one shot. 34 overnight with those increasing clouds by daybreak. Tomorrow, more clouds than sun. Could see a few uh, breaks in the clouds early, but the clouds quickly uh, move in through the afternoon. Rain holds up through about five across the eastern shore, and then it works over the peninsula through the heart of the area just after dinner time, working over the region. So this time tomorrow, expecting rain to roll across the area. Again, not all that terribly heavy, and then we could see a few residual showers by Friday morning. We clear out Friday afternoon. Northwest winds kick in, clearing us out for football Friday night, but chilly and setting the stage for a gorgeous start for the week the weekend. There's the system passing us to the south, the heaviest rain passing south of Delmarva. So rainfall totals generally about a quarter to as much as a half an inch. The further south you go, the better chance you see of having those heavier rainfall totals. Well, this is going to be a story heading into the weekend and over next week. This is doesn't look like much now, but this is potential tropical cyclone number 19, which will be Sarah. You can see kind of just hanging around the Yucatan, but it's going to make a curve here and potentially affect the Gulf and Florida this time next week. So that is something that's going to have to be monitored closely. Margaret Crony, Salisbury, Maryland. You're the winner of our Paul Davis umbrella. 63 Saturday. We're at 63 Sunday. Milder Monday with a high of 68. Thank you. The blood bank of Delmarva is sounding the alarm. On Monday, the blood bank declaring a blood emergency after seeing a 20% decrease in donations. Marketing manager Jason Burlew knows from personal experience how important it is that people receive these blood donations after battling cancer himself. There's no way my body would have survived that length of a procedure, that uh, traumatic of a procedure without blood. So I received blood for that. Uh, after my one year of deferral, I started donating again. Berlou says the lack of blood donations could also hurt elective surgeries. The holiday season is here, the most wonderful time of year for some, but it can be sad for others. That's where Draper Media's Bless Our Children campaign can help bring the Christmas spirit to everybody. But we need your support to make that happen. For many in our community, the holidays can bring about stress as they strive to create unforgettable moments for their cherished little ones. That's where the Bless Our Children campaign can help, but we need your support to make it happen. All the money you donate goes to local nonprofit organizations which give gifts to children this holiday season. Every penny you give helps families right here on Delmarva because WBOC covers all administrative costs. You can help local children by accepting the Shell Brothers Bless Our Children Challenge by donating at least $1,000. And as our thank you, we'll list your business name on the Shell Brothers Honor Roll in order of amount given in increments of $1,000. And you can donate by sending a check or money order to address on the screen or online at blessourchildren.org. Together, we can make the holidays this year a special one. Still to come, scam alert, don't get fooled, do not get cheated. We're gonna tell you what to look for. And next, the low price of competition. Amazon is trying to keep pace with some newer, cheaper competitors. First State Chevy salutes our heroes all month long with discounts for military personnel, first responders, and their families. 
Thank you for your service. Red Tide Savings up to $5,000 and 0% financing. Red Tide Savings up to $1,500 and 3.9% financing. We have a great selection of GM certified pre-owned vehicles that come with a GM bumper to bumper warranty. Stop in or find us on the web at firstaidchevy.com. We are First Aid Chevy in Georgetown where we put you, the customer first. Together, let's drive. Foul odors, discolored water, are you running out of hot water more quickly? These are all signs of sediment buildup in your water heater. And as the buildup becomes more severe, it can even cause a premature tank failure. Flushing the tank periodically can prevent these problems. FH Fur has you covered. Get a water heater flush for $49. That's right, a complete water heater flush for only $49. Act now and get applying inspection free. 877-CALL-FUR at Atlantic General Hospital, we've been busy. Busy expanding healthcare services that are second to none in our region. From cancer care, and women's health services, to orthopedics, gastroenterology, and more, we provide advanced health technologies delivered by top providers. Expert care every day. It's what you can count on from Atlantic General Hospital. The Race to the Top 50 sales drive continues at Preston Ford. Save up to $8,000 off MSRP on a new 2024 Ford Edge. Embrace the future with savings up to five grand off MSRP on 2024 Mustang Mach-E's. We have nearly a thousand new Fords on the lot, all priced to sell fast. But hurry in as the inventory moves fast during our Race to the Top 50 in the nation. Check out the entire selection at PrestonFord.com. And remember, cars cost less in Preston. This is Coast TV News at 11. Amazon has launched a new discounted storefront called Amazon Hall. The mobile-only experience sells fashion accessories, home goods, clothes, and electronics for $20 or less. Amazon says the majority of items are under $10, with some even less than a dollar. However, these items can take one to two weeks to be delivered, and shipping is only free for orders more than $25. Meanwhile, returns are only accepted for items $3 or more. Hall is Amazon's response to overseas discounted rivals like Shein and Timu. We have a scam alert. Criminals are finding new and inventive ways to part you from your hard-earned money. U.S. and Canadian banks reported 10 times an increase in digital scams this year. Cybersecurity firm BioCatch found that criminals are increasingly using persuasive tactics to trick people into giving them money through online systems, so-called social engineering scams, where criminals use pervasive tactics to get victims to send them money and that began popping up about five years ago. But there's been a big uptick in just the last 18 months, according to BioCatch. Coming up in sports, find out which Delaware boys soccer teams are moving on to the state championship Saturday. And next, saving for retirement. How much you should be socking away to make your money last. And we're looking pretty good as far as your golf forecast goes tomorrow. We are looking at potentially some sunshine in the morning, but overall cloudy day. Temperatures only getting into the mid to upper 50s. Rain arrives by the evening. We'll take a look at that all-important 10-day forecast when we come back. We salute Richard Adams II. Richard is celebrating a remarkable milestone as he approaches retirement this January, concluding an impressive 44 years of dedicated service at Dover Air Force Base. Enlisting in the Air Force right out of high school at age 18, Richard quickly distinguished himself in his field. Over his career, he spent 26 years as a jet engine mechanic before transitioning to an aircraft mechanic role for another 18 years. His expertise and commitment led him to the esteemed rank of Senior Master Sergeant. Known not only for his exceptional skills as a mechanic, but also for his integrity and dedication, Richard has truly embodied the spirit of service. Spicer Brothers and Coast TV are honoring military persons and first responders serving Delmarva. If you have a family member, friend, or community member that you would like to nominate for a Coast TV salute, go to CoastTVSalutes.com. Listen to 93.5 The Beach, Delmarva's rock station. This is my legacy! 
The Corolla legacy is earned, rooted in affordable reliability. With convenience and unexpected comfort, lease a Corolla Cross for $249 a month or buy a Corolla sedan with low 4.99 APR. Toyota, let's go places. Farmers are superheroes, true conservationists. We are using soil health practices to help fight climate change. Soil health farmers are working today to protect tomorrow. Using regenerative agriculture and climate smart practices like no-till and cover crops to improve soil health. Healthy soils sequester carbon, improve water quality, and produce sustainable, nutrient-rich food. Soil health farmers are working today to keep Delmarva a beautiful place for generations to come. Have you lost a loved one to suicide? You are not alone. I lost my teenage son to this heartbreaking tragedy. And I lost my veteran dad who faced his struggles alone in silence. We're here as part of the Jesse Clump Memorial Fund's loss team, providing support to suicide loss survivors. We understand this complicated grief. We are here to meet, talk, or text whenever you need. Remember, you are not alone. Call us at 410-726-3090. Together we can heal and find hope again. At Just Comfort Shoes, the Birkenstock store, we love hearing your Birkin stories. We've traveled the world in our Birkenstocks. Our whole family lives in our Birkenstocks. Birkenstocks have been part of my life for over 20 years. Locally owned and operated, Just Comfort Shoes is the only Birkenstock specialty store in Delaware, offering the widest selection and latest styles, including exclusive limited editions. And we offer superior service and expert fitting. Visit Just Comfort Shoes in our two Rehoboth Beach locations and start your Birkin story today. Now is the time to start thinking about whether you want to make changes to one of your retirement accounts for 2025. And the IRS just raised how much money you can put into your 401k plan. In today's Consumer Watch, Jen Sullivan looks at the latest changes and how much you should be putting away for retirement. Here we are. You'll be able to put more money into a 401k retirement account in 2025. That's because the IRS announced new changes. Next year, you'll be able to contribute up to $23,500. That's up $500 from this year. It may not seem like a big increase, but over the long run, it can make uh, a substantial difference. Sabino Vargas, a senior financial advisor at Vanguard, recommends 12 to 15% of your annual income should be put towards retirement savings. So if you're making $50,000 a year, you ideally should be putting between $6,000 to $7,500 in an account such as a 401k. And look into what your company offers. Many will match what you put in up to a certain number. Contribute enough to get your employer match. That way you're not leaving any, any money on the table. Vanguard financial planners advise people should plan to spend between 75 to 85 percent of their current income each year once they retire. Contributing to a 401k also has tax benefits. That money is taken out before federal taxes, so it lowers your taxable income. Vargas also recommends taking money advantage of your company's health savings account or HSA. Advantage. Money goes in uh, pre-tax, money grows tax deferred, and money come out, can come out tax-free as long as you use it for qualified medical expenses. Vargas also recommends to start saving at a young age. Contribute what you can, anything is better than nothing, and put more money away as you progress in your career. For Consumer Watch, I'm Jen Sullivan. The Delmarva Sports Network from the Wawa Studios. Tonight, two local Delaware boys soccer teams with a shot to advance to the state finals. In D1 semifinal, number one seeded Caesar Rodney defeated number four seeded Del Castle 2-1. The Delaware boys soccer state finals in D1 is Saturday at 4 p.m. at Dover High. In the Division II semifinals, Caravelle Academy trying to knock off the top seeded Sussex Academy. First half, going to need something much better than that to beat C.J. Norton. 
Later in the first 40, a shot from range for the Buccaneers sails well over the crossbar and into the twilight. Now final push before the end of the half, but this ball's into no man's land and we'd head to the break knotted up at zeros. In the second, Sussex Academy's turn. Initial shot is right here, blocked, but Andres Romero Nieto, the hero from the quarterfinal, does it again. Seahawks win it one to nothing over Caravel. The Hawks are back in the state finals. In the other D2 Delaware Boys Soccer semifinal, St. Andrews facing Tattnall second half, and it's an incredible save right here by the Saints to keep this game tied at zero. Then under 10 minutes left in this game, it's going to be a Saints corner taken by William Bedeau, who gives it to Luke Robinson for the go ahead goal right here. And the Saints shut out Tattnall and will play Sussex Academy in the finals. That'll do it for sports. Have a great night. Coast TV first alert weather, your safety, our commitment. In 1925, a simple bank ledger began journaling the transactions of life in Willards, Maryland. New houses, barns, and farm equipment, growing families and businesses both big and small, a record through time of hardship and prosperity. A hundred years ago, the founding of the Farmers Bank of Willards was vital to the town. One hundred years later, banking has changed, but the Farmers Bank remains steadfast in its original mission, keeping and reinvesting millions of dollars right here for the benefit of our communities. At the Delmarva Design Center, appliances, cabinetry, countertops, tile and flooring come together in one showroom. We have specialists in each division, like myself in tile, to ensure that you have the best product to fit your needs. And that your selection fits seamlessly with every element of your remodel. I was able to look at everything that I was looking for from my new kitchen, including the backsplash and the countertop and the sinks all in one place. Del Marva Design Center. Great design starts with great inspiration. Selbyville, Delaware. Get ready, Delmarva. Excitement and incredible savings have arrived at Gateway Subaru. Save up to $3,200 on a new 2025 Subaru Outback with financing rates as low as 1.9% for 48 months. Or save up to $2,300 off a new 2024 Subaru Crosstrek with financing rates as low as 1.9% for 48 months. And be among the first to drive the all-new 2025 Subaru Forester. Stop in and reserve yours today. Gateway Subaru, just minutes from the beaches in the heart of Delmarva. Higher standards. Joining forces for great health care, it's Your Docs Inn in partnership with Title Health. Your Docs Inn has much of what you'd go to the ER for, but when only the ER will do, Title Health is there for you. Your Docs Inn opens seven days a week with six convenient locations and late hours too. Book online for no more waiting room limbo. Fast care at reasonable prices. Your Docs Inn in partnership with Title Health, accepting most insurance plans and Medicare. Named best urgent care on the shore. Feel better, faster at Your Docs Inn. No strangers here, just friends you haven't met yet. With comfortable outdoor seating and an authentic Irish bar, Irish Eyes in Milton is a local favorite by the Broadkill River. Irish Eyes in Lewis with ample free parking, a gorgeous waterfront patio, extensive menu favorites, and the best happy hour on the water. Book our Lewis room for all of life's celebrations. With a lovely panoramic view, in-house chef, and a professional team to make your next event one to remember. Find out more at irisheyespub.com. Are you looking for some holiday goods, but also maybe some books? The Friends of Cape Henlopen State Park will be hosting their Holiday Boutique and Book Fair this Saturday, November 16th. It's from 9 to 2 p.m. at the Officers Club in the park. A wide selection of books, homemade crafts, and holiday-themed gift items will be offered. It is a cold night, especially away from the coast. We're holding in the 50s at the coast, but check out the way these temperatures have fallen away from the coast. 34 Georgetown, we're at 34 Delmar, 36 in Salisbury, all thanks to that radiational cooling. Now, the temperatures will get to around the low 40s by daybreak, sunrise around 643. Now, 55 by the afternoon, cloudy skies. Now, the rain develops by the evening after about 6 or 7 o'clock and then overspreads the region. Get your forecast at any time by uh, dialing our first alert weather phone. Your Paul Davis 10 day shows that rain moving in Thursday night into Friday. We clear out by Friday afternoon, 58 degrees, turning a bit breezy. And then we see dry and sunny through the start of the weekend, increasing clouds Sunday into Monday. Could see a light shower say Sunday night into Monday, but a better chance of showers Wednesday through Friday.
Thank you, Chris, and thank you for joining us for Coast TV News at 11. For more news and local weather, you can download our Coast TV News app. The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon, that's next. And we'll see you back here tomorrow for Coast TV News at 5 a.m. Have a great night.